Hello and welcome back. So on this one, let's make a little bit of some variation here so that this looks better. So I want to just change this image and change the text and uh, the number here. So real quick, back to the home view and I will add maybe $8 here instead and uh, change the item to maybe wave drink. Let's change that on the second one. And uh, also the image must change to wave.jpg. Um, where are we? Uh, there we go, wave.jpg. That way, at least we have two different items here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, let's compare here. Where does the total show? So item total down here, $20. And then, <coughs> excuse me, there's a checkout button. And then I don't know what hold does. And if I had to add that, um, cancel obviously is cancel. We can put clear all here to start from scratch. So clear all, checkout. What other button uh, could be necessary? I think those two are good. So down here to put a total will be after the table itself. So table ends here. This is the main div. Uh, so right after the table here, we do a checkout button. Uh -huh. So this will be a div that contains uh, information there. So what I will do is, let's put a div down here, but I want this div to maintain at the bottom here. So, but let me add an, uh, a button in here. So button like this. This button will be checkout. And what I want to do is put some classes here. So first of all, button button success and uh, what else i think that should do uh, let me add a second button here which will be button uh, primary this one will be clear all But I want these to be on separate lines, so let's add a class here and put deflex. That way they flex all the way to the end. Refresh. Oh, that didn't seem to work at all. So display flex. Should f oh, actually it is working. This is the wrong thing to do unless I put column on these, I just say call like this, which will make them fit all the way through. Oh, I see. So instead of column, let me put row because each one should be on a separate row. And oops, this is not going as I planned. So let me remove this. Let me remove the row. Let me just put a good old break tag there. Uh, that should do. Okay. Let me put margins on the top and bottom of three. And then let's put width 100% like that. So let's try that. Okay, much, much better. Clear, check out. Now, of course, this thing here will have many uh items in here which we will need to scroll up and down so we can take advantage of that by giving it a fixed height of some kind so what i would do is the table should be wrapped in a uh, in a div now this is even without this uh, situation here it's always important when you're using tables to put them in a um, in a div because sometimes the table becomes too wide for somebody to see what's going on 
then you can just add a div put it inside a div and use table responsive what this will do is it will create a scroll bar once the table is too wide and then you can scroll around like that and then let me do maximum height here let me put some uh, some styles to this so let's do style and let's do height and this height should be let's try 200 pixels and see where that takes us okay clearly too low and let's put 400 pixels okay our thingy ends there so maybe let's see maybe i didn't need this break tag between the two it's too much oh apparently it didn't do anything at all i want padding on the checkout so the button can be bigger so i'll put padding y which is top and bottom uh, let me put two let's see if that changes something okay it did but i want bigger so i'll put four let's do that that way you really can't miss the checkout button right let's put two here on both of these to reduce the margin okay much better all right so i need to add an overflow on this one on this main div that's covering the this one with responsive that way when there's too many items it starts scrolling so let's see uh, overflow y uh, scroll okay so let's check that out okay so we have nice scroll bar down here and we can test this by just uh, duplicating one more item maybe two times uh, control shift d to duplicate okay so there we go so if we had many items we would need to scroll up and down like this to view them now the thing is i don't want to scroll the image description amount i just want to scroll this uh in internal part here so i don't know if this is even possible but let's see if we can do it i'll delete these last two but for testing purposes let's leave them there so what I'll do is height here is 400, right? Uh, which is okay. But let me remove this. I'll just copy it for now. Or I'll just cut. Let's go to, because without that scroll, this is what happens. Things go down this way. But let's put this on table row so you see this table row for the header and this table row for the uh, content so here what we'll do is we'll say t body because you can put t head and t body so let me paste that style there okay so let, let's move this t body to the very last item here so item end and let's put that there so let me see if that will work at all i've never actually tried that but it seems it does not work so maybe we change the t-body to um, to a div let's see if that would do the trick and it does not because the div now is outside the table structure so this is very uh disappointing because i can't do i don't really know how to do uh i'll have to research on that one so let me undo all this until the part where the style comes back to the responsive div and then we can call it a day so refresh there we go things seem things seem to be okay uh, 
okay very nice very nice very nice all right so so far so good things are working out well let's continue in the next video oh we need to add a title here before i go uh the the total sorry total thing to show down here so let me put that with a um just before this let's do this let's put a div let's add some classes the first class is alert alert uh danger and then let's put an amount here let's just say total and then i will put um uh, let me try uh, thirty dollars, like so. <clears throat> and I want the font here to be large, so font size thirty pixels. Let's try that and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have a total here, and that is nice. And uh, this is stretching all the way down here which is okay but it's gone too far so maybe let's remove my point of sale here uh, we already have that here so maybe let's remove it to create more real estate so out of my way delete let's see what that do okay much much better and what else uh, mm -hmm. this one is low down here did I give it a height this one should be mean height like so okay that way it stretches to meet this one because they're in flex box so whenever this one grows this one grows as well all right I think uh, we are doing very well so we have the main interface now all we need to do is add some functionality to this so let's continue in the next video